early Christmas yet, but today's um, December 23rd. As promised, I am give, we are giving you guys an awesome Christmas play. So I guess we can just get to it. Me and Nick are going to be reading some books, talking about them. Then we're going to sing and do stuff like that. We got our hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And yeah, we got everything promised. We got everything. Yeah, it's on the exact day and stuff. So I guess we can just get started, Nick. Please. Nick, do you want to read first or you want me to read first? Um, I think I should. Alright, right, Nick's going to read first. So let's I go. read Up on the Housetop or... Do the snowman one first. And get it over with. I just read it like this. Just to let you know, I might stop you through the book and say if it say stuff here or there. So yeah, you're allowed to do the same it's thing. It's always with me. so hard to find the first page. Yeah. Okay. One day the snow blacks were having a chat, as they do when the humans aren't near. When suddenly little snow Ellen piped out and said in a voice crystal clear. Where do, you, where do we come from and why were we made and how did we get here from there? Yeah, join the snow. Yeah, I joined in snow, John. I want to know too. Did we poof? <laughs> Just appeared from thin air? It starts with the snowflakes that fly from the sky to wherever on earth they are blown zillions of snowflakes. All right, all right, all right. So I think the snowmen are just now, I guess, being created, or... I think, I think they're being told, like, how they were made. All right, so yeah. Okay, it starts with the snowflakes, yeah, for, of zillions of snowflakes, but each one unique with a destiny all of its own. But how do these snowflakes get made into us, said the snow kids, with some consternation. Consternation. I'll answer that, replied Papa Snowbot. <laughs> it's location, location, location. <laughs> but Papa is saying, continued his wife, is that snowflakes are only the start. They're, they'll have fun to be lo to be fun loving humans nearby because they do the magical part. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, they get the idea to begin rolling balls. Oh, this is where they're creating the snowman. All sizes. Some giant, some tiny, some will be, some shiny, and of course, there are always surprises. <laughs> I can't turn to that page. <laughs> yeah, they're like sometimes like really stuck together because of how old the book is. Then sick. comes the part where we all get our features, mm -hmm. our eyes, ears, and noses, and such. As you may have noticed, materials vary, so we each get that person touch. <laughs> That's right, said Snow Ellen. And how about clothes? Have you ever seen such funny stuff? Hey, wait there a minute, said Papa Snowblat. You're focusing on the mirror fluff. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I didn't want to, you're missing the point. It's a miracle. We're even here. Our humans may not have the best taste in fashion, but they know what they're doing that's clear. After they've rolled us and buttoned us and bowed us and bowed us and patted down each little flake, they step back with pride and and then they provide what we need to be finally a week. Oh, so they just finished making their snowman. All right, so woo. All right, so um, I really like the book. I really like how they explain how they made the snowman and stuff. It's really cool. I think you guys should try to go buy it. What's this title of the book? Um, it's a really good book too. It's so a, happy to be here. The slightly silly story of Snow Black. All right, so yeah, Snow Happy to be here, right there. So it's a really good book. You got it for like two dollars. It's pretty good price. I always keep setting my coffee. <laughs> I mean, not my coffee. <laughs> Alright, Nick, so what do you think about the book? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> how snowmen are made. Yeah, I, I like it. Maybe it'll teach you guys how to build snowmen, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, my turn. I'm gonna read the traditional old Elf on the Shelf book. It's a Christmas tradition since we have our Elf on the Shelf. So I guess we could just get to it. Um, Alright. Alright, have you ever wondered if Santa could know 
if you're naughty or nice each year as you grow. For hundreds of years, it's been a big secret. It, it now can be shared if you promise to keep it. Dang, this book got some rhymes. Bro. Woo! <laughs> Alright, so, there we go. Alright, and at holiday time, Santa sends me to you. I watch and report on all that you do. My job's an assignment from Santa himself. I am his helper, a friendly scout elf. So they're talking about the elf on the shelf. Yeah, they're talking about him. Like how, like what he does and stuff. The first time I come to the place you call home, you quickly must give me a name of my own. We named ours Fireball. So you he's, guys already know from my past tree. vlogs. It couldn't have been a more perfect day. He's up there in yeah, the I know. I know he hasn't moved yesterday either. I know. Once you are finished, my mission can start. What will you call me, Markle or Zart? Will it be Foddle, Criddle, or Clyde? Fizzbee's cute too, but you must decide. Alright. I'll be back at your home before you awake, and then you must find the, the new spot I will take. You'll jump out of bed and come running to see who will be the first to spy to little old me. So you have to try and find him after, um, you have to try and find him after he comes back or and after you, like, wake up and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a pretty good thing to do, because it brings out your anxiety and fun, so yeah. Maybe the kitchen, the bathroom, or den is where you will find me when, is where you will find me, your special elf friend. I can hide on a plant, a shelf, or a frame. Where will I be? Let's make it a game. Hopefully not in the bathtub. Well, that's where this dude is. Pretty sad. I can't speak to you, t so says Santa Claus. All of us elves have to follow his laws. Yeah, that's pretty good. Gross. Wait, this how how come Santa gives us presents and stuff? And spends his whole night just giving us presents. Does he get any? Cause he really deserves some. Like maybe the elves make him some. Yeah, and maybe he gives them candy canes like usual. I'm like, I'm sure Santa doesn't mind, but I think it's a pretty good. Santa's in the mall aren't really real. That one in the series should be. That is, one. I think is. One. I'll listen to you. Tell me your wishes. Would you like a game or or some tiny toy dishes? The gleam in my eye and my bright little smile shows you I'm listening and noting your noting your file. I thought that said rifle. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> noting your rifle. Oh, noting your rifle. All right. I'm trying to get done with this book. So blow me a kiss and bid me farewell. I fly away when I hear Santa's bell. Of course I will miss you, but wait till next year. When the holidays come, I'll again reappear. I never knew he left when Santa rings the right. bell. Until then, I wish every girl and each boy a Christmas of peace and, and a year full of joy. Yeah. All right, so this tradition game began for our family on November 27th. 2013. We welcomed our elf by choosing the name Fireball. So, there we go. What is you say our own? Huh? That's why. Okay. Alright. There's the elf on the shelf book. It's cool because it explains what the elf does and everything. Um, we also got an elf on the shelf movie. It, I guess, I think we got it with the thing. Yeah, we, I think we it was got like it with a the bonus part. Yeah, which is pretty cool. It's this big package. Like, if you guys ever have a chance to get an elf on the shelf, get one. They're really fun. They're really um, fun to find in the morning. Yeah, really like. But if somebody finds it, tell them to not tell you because the whole fun part is trying to find it. Yeah, exactly. And never give up. Mm -mm. Just gotta keep pushing forward. Alright, Nick. Life lessons with me. Alright, Nick, your turn. Well, I already read this book. <laughs> Time for, what is it? Um, up on the housetop. And what should I read, Jolly or Satan? You're we'll going to read the whole thing anyway, so just go with us first. Okay. Okay, so he's going to be reading Up on the Housetop and Jolly Old St. Nicholas, if I'm right. Yeah. Up on... No. <laughs> Wait. Okay, up on the housetop, reindeer fawn. Out to good old Santa Claus. Down to the chimney with lots of toys. All for the little ones, Christmas joys. My jam. First comes the stocking up little Nick now. Oh, dear Santa, fill it well. Give her a dolly that lasts and cries. That's weird. Okay, one that will open and shut her eyes. That's creepy. Next comes the stocking 
have little will go just to see what a glorious film. Here's a hammer with lots of tacks. Also a ball. Why would Santa give us anything like that? Also a ball and a whip with cracks. A whip that crack. cracks. Oh, ho, ho, who would go? Oh, ho, ho, who would go? Up on a house, stop, clink, 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 down to the chimney with the good stink, yeah. <laughs> All right, Nick, next, next one. That uh, should be Jolly, Jolly Old, Saint, old Saint Me. Jolly Old Saint Nick me. Olis. <laughs> Nick Olis. Jolly Old Saint Nick Olis, lean your ear this way. Don't you tell a single song what I'm going to do today? <laughs> I'm really bad at singing. Because the team is coming to now, my dear old man. Whisper what you'll bring to me. Tell me if you can. When the clock is striking 12, when I am fast asleep, now that you be brought back <laughs> with your back and cream. <laughs> All the second so you weird. will back hanging in a row. That will be the shortest one, you'll be sure to know. <laughs> Oh, like Christmas tree. Johnny wants a pair of skates. Susie wants a sled. Nellie wants a picture book, yellow, blue, and red. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I'm like, you done choking? Like, <laughs> now I think I'll leave. You, I'll leave you to. I'll leave to you what to give the rest. Shoot for me, dear Santa Claus. You will know the best. The end. Woo! Well, I think we need that. <laughs> no. All right. Pretty good singing. I mean, like, I was dabbing and stuff all up in here, but anyway, time for me. Yeah, do you remember? It <laughs> was the night before Christmas. Remember this? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I started going up, like, ah. All right. So, anyway, come read Close the Night Before Christmas. Oh, God, this hat is really itchy. I don't care anymore. Two more days till Christmas, guys. Tomorrow's yeah. Christmas Eve. Today is Christmas yeah. Eve Eve. I remember Santa drank Coca Cola. Was all right. I gotta pause this. I gotta like get us in a moment. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> was the night before Christmas went all through the house that a creature? Wait, was we stirring. can have the um. Where's it at? We can have that. No, no. <laughs> not a creature was stirring. Not, not even a mouse. mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and an eye in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. A <laughs> long winter's nap. <laughs> when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. I'm like, this book got window. some <laughs> Window. Window. I'm, I'm like, I'll bust it if I have to. <laughs> window. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow right. gave the luster to mid to objects below. This is my jam, like, really. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. I don't think they're tiny, like, I think they're tiny from, like, far away, but. Yeah. yeah. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Me. No. Must be Saint me. More rapid than equals his... Cursors, they Horses. came. No, it's cursors. They came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by, by name. No dash, no dance, now prince or vixen. On Calvin, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away Wait, all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. Saint Nick. Then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my bed and was turning ground, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. Woo! He's bouncing. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnish with ashes and soot. Yeah, because he falls into fireplaces. I, I, I still don't... Like, why do people light him? Christmas night, whenever Santa's going to fall in it. Oh, well. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. Oh, and because he could just magically oh, yeah, turn magical. it on. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Ooh, got a pack. Oh, look at that picture. I don't have it to me. He runs through the front door. Yeah, because we put, like, a key under the thing. Ooh. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose was his nose like a cherry. <laughs> His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. 
and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Oh, duh. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. Dang. I could flip the page. I thought it was a reef. <laughs> yeah, a reef. It's a wreath. Hell, a reef. W. It's a wreath. All right. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. Oh, he's an elf, okay. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. Get out of here! Right. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled like the stockings that turned with a jerk. Laying his fingers aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sled. He sprang to his sleigh to his team giving to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. A thistle. A thistle. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good, good night. Ow. Yeah, that was pretty loud. Ow. So anyway. So anyway guys, that was a really good book. That's my favorite book of all time. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So that's my favorite book that's my favorite book of all time. Um I really love the book. So I gotta pick these up. <laughs> yeah. What's your elf book? Which one do you oh, oh wait my elf book. Which one right. do you think is the best? I think the Twas the Night Before Christmas. I oh, don't know. Well, I'm In my section it was Twas the Night Before Christmas. What about yours? What do you guys think is the best? Comment down below. What do you guys think the best book that we read for you was? And you was guys the night before Christmas? The Elf on the Shelf for Christmas Tradition, the stories of Santa up on the housetop and jolly old St. Nicholas. There's no happy to be here. Yes. Which one of those is your best? Comment down below and let me know. Same you guys. You guys just type it. Alright, so, oh crap, knocked it over. Yeah, All right, Nick. comment down below. Nick, your favorite book. Nick which that. book was your favorite? Um, Mine was Twas the Night Before Christmas. Um, it's right between these two. I think it's this one. Yeah. There's all right. the cover. <laughs> yeah, alright. Alright, guys. Time for the Christmas quote. Nick, cut the... Alright, time for the Christmas quote. Here we go. Christmas Day is a day of joy and charity. May God make you very rich in both. By Phillips Brook. Really like this one. So, yeah. We're just going to put that right there. Alright, now time to jam. Yeah. Turn. Oh. Some jams on our hoverboards. Woo! 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 Yeah. 
Alright guys, so here's the very end of our Christmas play where we show you where Fireball is. There's Fireball, he's right in a tree. Boom right there, like look at him. The ghost! Alright, so I hope that you guys did enjoy the Christmas play. I did enjoy it myself. Um, we actually did forget to hide the elf. Because we were in this? such a rush. We forgot to hide the elf. It's right here though. We forgot to take this it out. Anthony it's an Anthony, Anthony elf. You guys were supposed to find it. We forgot to put it in. I'm pretty mad. Alright, Nick, so I guess we gotta redo the whole thing. Let's get back to square one. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Okay, Whoa, what so is in me? So yeah, it's a Christmas play. Time to clean up. Alright guys, time to make my parents a present. So I'm gonna put you guys in fast motion. Let's get to it. Up. I did tape up the top. I taped scissors on the so that they could cut it off, but yeah. Alright, so let's start getting the wrapping paper mixed up. <laughs> Throw out all the wrapping paper, get off the table. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna need a bigger piece right here. Yes, I do know how to wrap. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, gotta cut this stuff just like this, just like this. I bet rapping does take patience, by the way. I know, you got to write lyrics and everything. <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing? Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Christmas rapping. What? Ryan, you can get fish rapping. I can do that. What did you no way, get Ryan. her? That's one of my favorites. What you did? Alright, this. Put the short. Oh, no. It's just a box in there, but I'm not gonna wrap it up. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's a little short. Oh, well. So we gotta tape this down. Yeah, it's a little short, but need to fix it. Boom. Boom. All right, Just gotta cut off another piece. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's the present. Um, it's all wrapped. You hear the stuff? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go hide it. I almost forgot the sticker. We gotta put two or pair. Boom, just like that. The pen was dried out, so I did write sloppy. But anyway, let's pick this up and um, let's just go hide it. We're gonna go hide it under here. So let's open this up. Oh, Nick. And move some stuff around. Alright, so we're just gonna put the present in here. This is for our parents, by the way, mom and dad. Boom. Hit it just like that. Let's just close it up. It was never there. Alright, so boom, we just uh made a present for our parents. Alright, time to clean up. Alright, guys, so presents hit it. We got the after Christmas play. Um the th next thing that we have to do is wait till Christmas. So yeah. Alright guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, see you later. Bye-bye.